Helium partial staking. What is it? Should we partake? Should we not partake? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to multiple passive streams of income. First, let's understand what helium staking entails. Prior to validators, the helium networks hotspots did all the consensus and proof of coverage work, but these hotspots do not have the capacity or stability to continue this work as the helium network grows. So validators are now live and will perform consensus group work, which includes verifying transactions and adding new blocks to the blockchain. Now I'm no techie. And if that sounded like a lot of mumble jumble, here's how I rationalize it. There are transactions that happen on the Helium blockchain. Some type of validation has to happen and the owners of the computers that do that validation are rewarded with HNT. Now, to become a full validator, you need to stake 10,000 HNT and be able to run validator node software efficiently. Part of the staking process is that the 10,000 HNT is moved to a wallet that you cannot access. But if at any time a validator wants to take back their 10,000 HNT, you can, but there is a five month cool down period. So you will not be able to get access to that 10,000 HNT until after five months. And you cannot gain any rewards during that five month cool down period. Again, more mumble jumble, but I look at staking like a CD, not a CD like a compact disc CD, but a CD like a certificate of deposit CD. Banks are willing to give you more interest on your money if you agree to not touch the principal for X amount of years. So now that we have a clear understanding of staking and what validators do on the Helium network. It looks like as of July 2nd, there are over a thousand validators and this number is growing and growing fast. When this video drops, I bet the validator count will be a lot higher than a thousand. And when validators start to earn HNT on July 7th, I would not doubt that we're going to possibly reach 1500 validators by that time. More importantly, currently there's no max number of validators. So who knows how large that number will increase. So is it an investment we should be interested in? So let's take a look. Now the having is going to occur on August 1st of this year. That means 15 million HNT will be available to the participators on the Helium network. And of that 15 million, 6% goes to validators. So that's 900,000 HNT yearly until the next halving occurs in 2023. Now, how can we get some of this validator money. And this is where partial staking comes into play. Partial staking allows people with less than 10,000 HNT, which is needed to run a full validator node. It allows people like us to pull our HNT together and to get proportionately rewarded when the validator gets rewarded. Helium shows a list of partial staking validators, but they do not attest to the quality of the services provided. The list is increasing every day as well. And I would think that this list that's being provided by Helium is provided to kind of reduce scams, I hope. So I'm thinking these providers have applied to be validators, but Helium again is not vouching for their services. So 
it's not really a 100% endorsement. Many of these companies offer partial staking as well as technical assistance for full validator nodes. The providers on Helium's list that provide partial staking are shown on the screen. And it seems most charge three to 4% commissions on earnings and some charge between three to $4 daily in addition to commission fees. Now, some of these partial staking providers are accepting any amount of HNT tokens. And then there's others that have minimums of 75 to 100 HNT to join. And many of these providers have instant payouts of the rewarded HNT, although your staked HNT has to stay put. Since you are a part of a full validator as a partial staker, it is unclear how you would get your portion of staked HNT back if you ever wanted to not continue to participate. So keep that in mind when you're making a decision to partial stake. I have seen some ideas of a liquidity pool being used, but I haven't seen a real good example on how that would be implemented. So how much can a person make with partial staking? There are staking calculators you can use. I'm going to use the staking calculator on vaniger.io forward slash number sign forward slash. The calculator estimates the potential HNT you may earn yearly and also shows the fees you will pay from your earnings. Now let's use 100 HNT for our examples and look at the estimated yearly HNT accumulation as the number of validators grow. So at 1,000 validators, which we've already passed, and staking 100 HNT, we may be able to accumulate 35.29 HNT yearly. At 2,000 validators, 17.05 HNT. At 3,000 validators, 10.96 HNT. At 5,000 validators, 6.10 HNT. And at 10,000 validators, 2.45 HNT. So as you can see, the more validators, the less HNT, but can we trust this calculator? So let's just do some simple math. Like hotspots, all validators are not equal. Some will run more efficient than others. But if we take 900,000 HNT and divide it by 1,000 validators, that's 900 HNT per validator yearly. And your 100 HNT represents 0.01 or 1 hundredth of 10,000 HNT. So that amounts to nine HNT a year. And obviously the total gets worse as the number of validators grow. So that calculator may be embellishing what you really will get. An additional problem is how can one vet which staking provider is legit? The websites have a lot to be desired. I'm seeing so many typos on these websites. One uh, website in particular, helium-staking.com, has too many typos to take seriously. Joystake.com is the only one website that actually has a location address on it. And only a few show pictures of actual people involved with the project. I emailed many of these providers and only two responded and those two are not doing partial staking. So Helium has a map of validators. And the purple dots are the validator nodes. The provider that does list an address in Wyoming, when I look on the validator map, I don't see any validators in that state yet. So what's up with that? Helium talks about penalties that can be incurred if validators fall offline or are not kept up to date. 
So that's another consideration that cannot be proven when selecting a provider because there's no track record to draw from. I really wanted to convince myself into doing some partial staking and doing it early, but I've decided after further investigation, I'm going to sit on the sidelines for now because there's too many negative or gray areas at this current moment. And the rewards aren't significant enough to chance it at this time. With net emissions, and I'll link that video in the description below, we know Helium has the ability to ensure validators are rewarded no matter what. So the HNT accumulation will be there, but the partial staking validators leave a lot to be desired at this time. So currently, there's the growing number of validators and the no cap on validators at this time. How can we prove legit validators? Are any of them scammers? And if so, which ones? How can one measure how efficient a validator node will be? Now this question will eventually be answered when the validator info is public on the Helium map, but right now there's no way to evaluate this. How can a partial staker get their staked tokens back when they want to pull their investment? So these are the reasons why I'm just gonna stay put at this point. If I've missed anything, please let me know. I also introduced a Helium t-shirt giveaway in my last video. Again, I'm gonna put that link in the description below if you wanna enter that giveaway. I'd love to hear your comments and opinions, so please let me know if you agree with me, if I'm being too harsh, or anything in between. I would appreciate it if you like or dislike the video. All interaction counts. Please subscribe and comment, and please click the notification bell after you subscribe so you're notified when I drop new videos. As always, thanks for your time, as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.